Yo, what up, man? Chris, somebody checking back in, man. Back with a blog, man. Make sure that like button and subscribe button your way in, man. I appreciate all the support, man. The riot is coming Labor Day weekend, man. You see the flyer right here. You know what time it is, man. It is coming Labor Day weekend, September 3rd, man. Make sure you try to support. Um, a lot of battles on the card. Obviously, we know Chef Trez and Swamp is not on the card. Very disappointed about that. Um, that is a big battle. I feel like that would have been a, 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 another extra thing to help sell tickets just from a fan base in the South alone. Tickets are $75 if you are trying to come to the battle. I don't know what the pay-per-view is. I'm pretty sure they're going to do one. So try to support either way, $75. I know it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot. A lot of stuff going on in, 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 in the country right now. Gas prices high. Rent prices high. Everything high. You know what I'm saying? Everything high. You know what I'm saying? I tried to buy some eggs the other day. It was like almost three dollars i was like good lord a year ago i was buying eggs 89 cents for a carton but it is with it, everything high 75 dollars is high especially when there ain't no chef treads and swamp but try to support anyway man Gishi got it trying to do big things and at the end of the day man it's a good lead and in order for the lead to continue to do battles you have to support the battles man so support it one way or the other chris and Byers is all about supporting a good product I like what Geechee was doing. And you got to remember, when he was on the West Coast doing events for the Riot, he was live streaming the battle on the Riot Network. So basically, he was streaming a battle for free on YouTube when he could have been charging a pay-per-view, but he was streaming a battle for free. Always forget that, man. He grind his way up, let you respect the, respect the platform, and then started charging. You got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? So I know I had the 75 stuff, but man, find a way, man. Hustle, borrow the money, something. You know, I owe you something. Bring your ass to the event. Um, a lot of people on the undercard, man. You got Hansel, never heard of him. Dylon, 5X, never heard of him. So severe. He's from the A Hustle, obviously Midnight Manage. Y'all know about who Hustle is. Ron Compton, clone is on the card. Um, so a lot of people, man, four battles on the undercard. So you're going to end up with eight battles for the night. So eight battles, $75. I don't see no issue with, with niggas trying to come off that bread. Come off that bread. So let me talk about Nex and Mac Meyer. And I don't know if you can see this, man. This shit don't even be that clear. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Nex and Mac Myron. Um, Shout out to these two, man. I'm glad Mac Myron, one of my favorite people in battle rap, is getting the looks that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be... Now, they were trying to do him in clips on, on one of these Max House, and that would have been a good look for him. I feel like he has lived a little bit under Ill Will shadow because Ill Will has been on damn near URL and King of the Dot and uh, RBE and gotten a lot of different plates. And, you know, it's easy to look at Mac Myron and just be like, oh, yo, you just Ill Will's man. But I feel like in the last year, year and a half, Mac Myron's been having a better year. You look at the tournament, you look at some of the co ed battles he had with KCJ. And Bonnie, you look at some, you know, some of the other battles. You can go back, back, back before the end into the A Ward and Danny Myers battle. Mac Myron has been making a name for himself, and I think you're going to continue to see that. This is another example on this card, and then you're going to continue to see that on probably RBE. They do a Max Out, which I do anticipate Max Out three will be this year. I see them doing um, a bigger card. You know what I'm saying? I see them doing a bigger card and putting him on it. So. He's supposed to be on Max Out 2. He wasn't. I think he will, probably will be on Max Out 3 if they do Max Out 3 this year. So, uh, shout out to him for that. Next was, you know, we ain't seen Next in a minute, especially on URL, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he was on an app-only card or something. But, you know, Next has been somebody that URL was pushing as well as, as Gishi Gotti. Uh, this is a good look for him to be on this card and to get someone like Mac Myron. People are going to click on it just for Mac Myron. So if he can manage to win the battle, that's a good look for him. He was on Twitter recently saying that, you know, it, why am I always going through some stuff when I got to prepare for a battle? You know what I'm saying? So I hope everything that's going on with him is straight and he's doing well. But with that being said, I got Mac Myron 3-0. That's with or without the issues. I don't know. That's with or without whatever you got going on next. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Normally, I try to root for you. You know what I'm saying? Up and coming, light-skinned nigga. I try to support y'all nigga. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Mac Myron 3-0. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, Mac Myron been a while in that crowd, bro. Even to have like light-skinned jokes. Even to have short jokes. Even to have... Um, Oh, all kind of jokes. You know what I'm saying? Coming for you. He's going to flip the hell out your name. He's going to overwhelm you in that room, in my personal opinion. So I see kind of an easy way for Mac Myron to get in here. Real name Brandon and Fonz. This is going to be a good battle. 
this is going to be a good battle right here. I feel like Fonz, he's been battling a lot lately. He battled Calico. He battled Shuni the Rapper. He battled somebody else, I feel like. So he's been kind of battling a lot lately. Real name Brandon. I haven't heard nothing from him since the twerk battle. Maybe he had another battle. I don't know. I didn't see it. But um, I actually like real name Brandon now. I wouldn't give him that much credit before. You know, I think the MVP battle he had, I didn't really like that that much. I thought Houston Crowd was gassing him a little bit just because he was the first battle of the night. But I ain't gonna lie, I was listening to some of his twerk bars, and I was like, yo, this nigga crazier than I thought. This nigga crazier than I thought. So I actually like what he brings to the table now. And I God, I think I'm going with real name Brandon. I think I'm gonna go with real name Brandon, bro. You know what I'm saying? I do realize Fonz probably is obviously higher on the food chain and stuff like that. But I feel like the fact that Fonz has been battling lately, real name Brandon been chilling, sitting on bars, I, and, and this is his homie league. I think he's going to come with it. I got real name Brandon edging Fonz in this battle. Snake Eyes and Clean Paper. Everything about me want to pick clean. Snake Eyes is battling this weekend versus Holmesy the God when he should be chilling, but he's battling back-to-back -back weekends. I normally don't like that. There's a lot of stuff to talk about with Snake Eyes. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you look at the stumble situation. You know, the whole getting jumped and then you didn't get a chance to get your lick back because when you battle him, he beat you anyway and then he didn't even want the belt after he beat you. So it's like a lot to talk about with him as far as, and it's going to hit because it resonates with us. It ain't just some rumor that we heard or some 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 personal stuff that we heard. It's like, yo, we saw the stumble stuff play out and I think clean is the kind of nigga to make, not only make it good, but make it funny. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that right there, can carry him to at least a round, and then he might be able to mess around and win our other round. But when you be writing on your arm, my nigga, I mean, God damn, bro, that's some new, that's some new stuff right there. When you be writing on your arm, it's hard for me to pick you. I, I can't pick you no more. I can't even pick you in no battles. When you writing on your arm, I don't know. You might be writing on your stomach this time, on your neck. You might be doing this, trying to come up with stuff. You know what I'm saying? Doing this, looking at his palm. I don't know what he got going on this battle. But when you be writing on your arm, I can't pick you no more. And with that being said, I got Snake Eyes winning. I got Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes might try to bully him a little bit. I don't know. He might try to. He might try to get all in his face. You know what I'm saying? He tower over him. He look, 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 look a lot short. He might, he might try some stuff. And clean sometimes don't always be having clean rounds. One thing about Snake Eyes, we don't be saying that nigga choke. We don't be saying him stumble. We don't be saying him choke at the end of the day. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that shit play out. I hope. I wish it was some funny shit. I like like he like brought J two out because you know Clean had a lot to say about that too. Like what kind of nigga bring J two out in this battle? It would be so funny if he brought J two out again versus Clean. I mean, Clean just battled the nigga. You know they got busy him and Mac Myron on the Bonnie and a J two battle that was in Houston. So I'm a roll with Snake Eyes, man. I feel like Clean can do his thing. He, I wouldn't be surprised if Clean won this battle to keep it real with you, but I'm not picking him. I can't I can't pick you till you got you got other stuff going. I just can't pick you. But uh he is he could it's enough on Snake to be able to win the battle. Definitely enough. Um Rumnit and Award. Last battle to talk about. Rumnit and Award. Um Rumnit was recently on Twitter saying he don't really know if he's gonna be battling URL too much anymore. Don't know what that's about. Don't really got a relationship with Rumnitty to tap in. Maybe he's disappointed he's not on Summer Madness. I don't, not really sure. He won $150,000 just a year ago. He was all good. You know what I'm saying? It was all good just a year ago. And now I don't know what's going on. So, you know, I know Fonz has been advocating to try to battle Rum Nitty. I don't know what's going on, man. Maybe you are really Rum Nitty and work it out. But, you know, Rum Nitty is Rum Nitty. He's a made man. He's going to get looks at any league he want to get a look on because he's established himself in battle rap. With that being said, I got A-War winning this battle. Yes, I am. I'm going to pick a war to win every single battle until someone beats him. It just is what it is. Until I see someone beats him, I'm going to pick him to win every single battle. Rum Nitty, I feel like, is dope. He is a one-trick pony, in my opinion. He is nice. Punch, 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 punch. He's good at it. But I prefer more well-rounded battlers, and I think we're going to get that from A-Ward, and I think he's going to do enough to win the battle despite Mark Rum Nitty being great. And um, you know, I know some people were trying to say, uh, what was what were they trying to say? I think they were trying to say that A-Ward's last performance won't beat Rum Nitty. I heard that a lot. You know, if A-Ward come like this, he can't beat Rum Nitty. You got to flip that on the other way. 
Some of Rum Nitty's performances, the Rex battle, the Hollow battle, some of them battles like that, if he comes like that, I don't think he can beat A-Ward. So this is going to be a good battle, but I feel like A-Ward needs it more. Reason being, he signed a two-battle deal with the Riot, so he's going to get another look, and that look is possibly T-Top. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't beat Rum Nitty, it's hard to argue when you're arguing with other URL guys. Like, yeah, you battle Ill Will. Yeah, you battle Reed Dollars. Yeah, you battle Rosenberg Raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you battle QB Black Diamond. You battle people, but you battle Clips in a one-rounder, Arsenal in a one-rounder, stuff like that. You battle Mac Myron. But I feel like you're getting a top URL guy in a neutral spot, which is dope. If you don't win... And it's hard for me to be like, yo, he'll be Surf, he'll be Twerk, he'll be T-Top, he'll be this person, he'll be that person. It's hard to argue that if Rum Nitty clips you. So I think I think A-Ward knows that, and it just continues to leverage on why URL don't need to bring him to the platform. Like, see, he didn't even beat Rum Nitty. You only bring him to URL for what? Like, he, he can't beat our artists. So I know how I know how they think, and I feel like A-Ward is smart enough to know that in order for him to be able to continue to move the way he wants to move, get certain people on Max out, get certain people on GTX, get certain people on the Riot, and kind of have a little angle with URL. Like, see what I'm doing, see what I'm doing, see what I'm doing. Got to keep winning. Got to keep winning. And Rum Nitty is another Rum Nitty is another one of them battles that P going to be looking at like this. Let me see how he do. Let me see how he do. He was supposed to battle Fonz, A-Ward was, in Cleveland for three rounds. So he would have been battling Fonz in his backyard in a three-round battle, which would have been big. Because URL look at Fonz as one of their up-and-comers. They put A-Ward probably around the same place. Even though A-Ward is higher than Fonz, URL don't look at it like that. URL don't put him with the upper echelon of URL battles. They put him around that mix. So Pete was looking at like, okay, if he don't get past Fonz, don't come to me talk with all these demands and all this like, nigga, you can't even beat Fonz. So these are the kind of battle. Rum Nitty is another battle URL is sitting back on and looking at like, let's see how A-Ward do. I'm tired of A-Ward talking what he going to do and he can beat this person that. But let's see if he can get past Rum Nitty in a neutral site. And I think A-Ward knows that. I got to win a battle 2-1. Just does too much, man. And... You know, the rebuttals and everything. I think he knows the importance of the battle. I think Rum Nitty will be nice. But I don't think he will win the battle. So, that's why I, that's why I got it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If you are in the Atlanta area, man, come support, man. Labor Day weekend. What else you doing on Labor Day? I know it's the last weekend of the summer. You're going to the beach. You, you know, what, what you doing? You cooking out? You know what I'm saying? Bring your ass to the A, man. A lot of stuff going on down here. Support Battle Rap, at least on a pay-per-view if you can. Shout out to Geechee Gotti. Shout out to The Riot. You know what I'm saying? You want to slide your little boy a little media pass on, you know, let me know what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I could, could hit y'all up and ask y'all and y'all could just, you know, fuck with the fuck with me on, on GP. But at the end of the day, I'm going to support anyway. I'm going to support anyway. If, even if I don't go, I still get the pay-per-view, recap the battle. So shout out to Geechee Gotti for that, man. And um, I'll let your boy.